Manchester United 1-0 through to the Champions League knockout rounds thanks to a handball and a great turn and a finish from Marwin Fellaini. A shithouse goal for the second of game in the Champions League in succession. A second last minute winner from Marwin Fellaini in succession. He's coming up trumps for Jose Mourinho. And you saw what it meant to Mourinho there when he slammed the water bottles down on the touchline. Probably going to get a touchline ban for that. But Man United threw to the Champions League knockout round in the most uninspiring fashion possible. Let's be honest, in a game where probably young boys deserve to win it. They had the most clear-cut chances. David De Gea making a wonderful save. But Man United threw. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below and the overall performance. But let's not get distracted by that last minute winner for the fact that it was another game where Manchester United didn't look united at all. You know, Fellaini, last minute winner, fantastic. That is great news. It's wicked. It's amazing scoring a last minute winner. It always is. And Man United are now through to the knockouts. We haven't got that nervy game against Valencia coming up. That's a big bonus. But looking at that overall 90 minute performance, it's hard to be too positive about the performance itself that we saw. Mourinho making plenty of changes, Antonio Valencia coming back in, Phil Jones coming back in. Valencia is a massive passenger in this team and the more he plays, the worse it gets. For me, he absolutely shouldn't be playing any more for Manchester United, let alone wearing the captain's armband. Fred came in, thought he played pretty damn well in that game and certainly didn't deserve to be taken off ahead of Nemanja Matic, but we'll get into that. But Man United... You know, we created plenty of chances in that first half. Marcus Rashford was at the heart of it all in terms of his pace and movement, but his finishing was so bad. And Manchester United's decision-making for the large majority of that entire game was woeful. From front to back, short passes, long passes, runs, movement, the decision-making was atrocious against young boys. And we should have been punished, I think, by them scoring. But luckily, their finishing was just as bad as Marcus Rashford's in that game, and they didn't make the most of their opportunities. Fred came in, and for me, made a big difference to what is a static midfield. Every time young boys counter-attacked, I thought, oh shit, they're going to get an opportunity here. Lo and behold, they did most of the time. Matic, again, the game passed him by. He floated through the game without really affecting it. Looked like he was blown out of his arse after 30 minutes. And who can blame him? He plays 90 minutes every single game. He shouldn't be. And Fred sh certainly shouldn't have been taken off ahead of Matic in that game. But Mourinho is loyal to his generals. Matic is one of them. Lukaku was one of them until he got dropped. He came back on. Still looks short of confidence. But Fellaini is his lieutenant, his general, his, his everything. Fellaini seems to be the player who gets it the most, I suppose, in terms of what Mourinho wants. And I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing. I really, really don't. But I certainly don't think that Fellaini should ever be starting for Manchester United. But that's getting into a different conversation altogether. But after Crystal Palace, you know, it was nil-nil there. It looked like it was going to be another nil-nil here tonight. A different sort of nil-nil than what we saw under Louis van Gaal for the fact that we actually created chances. And on a different game where Rashford is more clinical, we're two, three goals up by half-time. And the game's dead and buried. But in terms of creating a positive atmosphere, which is what we needed to do after that Crystal Palace game, today did not serve that. Old Trafford was getting massively restless. Pogba and Mata came on, still restless. We weren't creating that many opportunities against the young boys' defence, which were playing well, but sitting very, very deep, making it hard for us to break them down. And it took a fortuitous handball, but a great turn and finish from Fellaini in the 91st minute to break it down. It shouldn't. This is Manchester United we're talking about. A team that's got Martial, that had Lingard in there. Another game that passed him by. Man, where's the Lingard that was there last season? He's really not playing well this season. I think everybody can admit that now. Rashford, Martial, Mata, Pogba, Lukaku, Sanchez. How this team is struggling to score goals, to create... Uh, we didn't struggle to create opportunities tonight. It was more to do with the finishing. But how we are struggling to score so fucking much is appalling, especially in the first half of games. I think that's now nine out of our last 11 games at Old Trafford where we haven't scored in the first half. That's a horrible, worrying statistic. And overall, I think United's blushes have been spared by Marrow and Fellaini tonight because if that was another nil-nil, the pressure would be just intensely cranked up on Jose Mourinho. 
and deservedly so if we did go through another nil-nil there. But ultimately, it's the result that gets remembered and it's the result tonight which saves Man United and Mourinho's blushes because Mauro and Fellaini got that winner and Man United are now through to the Champions League knockout round with a game to spare. The pressure is eased off in that regard. It means that now when we go to play Valencia, we can maybe rest a couple of players because we've obviously got the Liverpool game coming in and around that. But let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. Old Trafford, plenty of empty seats there tonight and it was muted. It really, really was. And the whole performance was muted. And after that Crystal Palace, I thought we needed a reaction. Tonight, I didn't see a reaction. Ultimately, the result is what matters. And Man United got the result tonight. But for United fans, the performances are just as important. There was certainly an increased lack of effort, an increased amount of effort tonight from the players, but they weren't clinical. The decision making was poor. It didn't look like a top level team at all. And ultimately, we're not. But let me know what you think about that match in the comments below. Does it change your opinion of Mourinho, of any players? Name any individuals you want to talk about specifically, whether that be Fred. I think arguably Man United's man of the match. I think he played very, very well when he needed to. But Mourinho still took him off and showed his loyalty to Matic. And he'll always show his loyalty to the players that show loyalty to him. That's the way he works and that will never change. But let me know what you think in the comments below as always. And subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Take it easy.